As someone who's interested in a STEM field such as nursing, I noticed how many young women left STEM career paths as I went through high school. I wanted to see why this happens and what I can do to combat this. So I decided to make my capstone. Middle school girls need ways to remain interested in STEM fields as they enter high school. While I was researching my capstone, there was a lot of things I wanted to look into. The most important is what influenced kids the most when they were choosing their career path. I found that this is parent influence. Most kids look up to their parents' career so they follow in their same path. Another thing I found out is that most women are not in STEM fields. Women only make up 12.9% of all-around engineering careers, 20.9% of computer engineers, 3.9% of maintenance repair workers, and 1.2% of automotive technicians. What this led me to believe are the two root causes of my problem are lack of a positive mentor in a STEM field and lack of positive experience. I decided to focus on lack of positive experience because it seemed more realistic for my time constraints and the resources available to me. So how my research changed my approach to the problem was it made me realize that there are lots of different programs and resources out there. It's just they focus on giving girls information less on giving them the experience of being in a STEM field. So this changed my new capstone statement into middle school girls need ways to have a positive experience in STEM fields as they enter high school because I learned more girls will stay in STEM fields when they have exposure to these career paths. Once I restated my problem statement, I created four principles to base my solutions off of. These principles were engagement, experience, motivation, and enthusiasm. I created three solutions based on these principles, the first of which was to have a conference where parents, teachers, and other community leaders could learn about STEM and take home kids to start their own STEM clubs to expose girls in a positive but not overwhelming environment of STEM careers and different STEM projects. The second was a mentorship network where girls could talk to women in different STEM careers, ask them questions, ask to shadow, and just give them ideas about different career paths that they never thought about before. The last solution was a large interactive event about STEM for kids of all ages. You'll now see an example experiment put on by one of my volunteers to show what one of these experiments would look like. Pills, tablets. So you break one tablet. This is a tablet. So you break one tablet into four. Oh, it didn't break like I wanted it to. And then you put one tablet in here and it should react like a lava lamp. Well, look at God. That is a lava lamp. Look. This tablet kind of sticky, though. I don't know what's in this tablet. It's kind of sticky. So we're just going to take the other tablet. This pill's a little sticky. Not cute. If you really listen closely, you hear that little bubble sound it's making? I feel at peace with life watching this. I decided to go with my third idea and create a large event for young girls in middle school titled She Stems From Me. After narrowing down my three ideas into the solution I wanted to move forward with, I ran into a slight problem. This is not a capstone solution. Try again. This changed my solution by helping me to realize that I needed to create something that was repeatable and not just a one-off event. I created a digital kit to help the organizer better plan these events so girls have more interactions with the people running the experiments and better exposure to STEM career paths while implementing things like gamification in the process. What you're seeing now are tweets that I posted to give updates while I was working through the implement stage of Capstone. We went through three phases of review and reflect where we would reach out to users and ask for their suggestions for improvement to our solutions as we went along. So here's my final solution, my digital kit. Right here you see some icebreakers I gave as examples to help break the ice between students attending the event so they feel more comfortable. Right here is an infographic about gamification, which is the main concept, one of the main concepts that will be applied at my event. It's basically the concept of applying gaming elements 
like a point system or leaderboard to real world activities to make them more engaging, motivating, and fun. I also included information about how you can use it in a classroom setting. Lastly, these are the rules that will apply to my game. Students will be in teams and they earn experience points as they complete activities at the events. They earn XP for every event they finish. Also, they can earn extra XP if there's a competition at an event and they place in the competition. They also get XP if they earn one of the badges that I'll show you in a moment when they exemplify special behavior. These were the badges that I just mentioned. They're just badges that I created based on things I notice most girls who are motivated in STEM showcase. It's just things that are important, not only for if you're going into a STEM career, but any career. It's just reflective of the design process. This is also a guest speaker guide because I noticed most guest speakers at these events are adults who sometimes have a hard time relating to middle schoolers, so I wanted to give them a guide to make it easier for them to create what they're speaking about. Lastly, this is the certificate that each girl can get once they finish an event to give them a sense of accomplishment. Hey, so as I finish my capstone journey and finish up creating She Stems for Me, I just wanted to do some time to do some reflecting on my process. Based on how I think, like, some questions often asked is how successful do I think it's going to be? I feel like for what it is, it can be relatively successful. I feel like if I find a way to get the word out there, spread it to other, like, schools and get it throughout the district, I feel like it can be really impactful and change the way we introduce girls to STEM subjects and introduce them to new career paths. The one thing I would change is I wish I could find a way to, like, distribute it, like, to give, like, test trials, I guess. like. Find a way to like give people like a taste of what She Stems For Me comes from. Like if I could put on like a conference using She Stems For Me so people can see what it can be and how to do it. But due to my time constraints, that wasn't really possible. So I just made the kit for somebody else to be able to create it. And as I finish up Capstone and I think about everything I've done, I'm actually really proud of the work I did. And I feel good for trying to make a difference in how we teach STEM. And I'm really grateful for everyone who helped me along the way. And I really hope some little girl out there sees this video or goes to an event and she sums for me. And she figures out what she wants to do with her life, even if it's not in STEM. Thank you.